Alright everyone, this is Optnoob, and this is another Resident Evil guide. This is HD Remaster for the first one. And this one we're doing Chris, and we're doing all the endings with Chris. We're going to get all the endings in one playthrough by doing a safe reload at the end. So we cannot do no saves here, I'm afraid. You have to save here, because you need to reload at the end for him um, to get both the ending trophies. And there's a few missable trophies we'll get on the way. We'll get a flamethrower. Um, if you've been following my other guides for this, and this will be the fourth one you're following, and we do need to get the flamethrower for the star signal trophy, that's the last weapon we need, and you've got the rocket launcher unlocked. Yeah, we'll be using the rocket launcher for this, guys, which you should have from completing the game in under three hours, on normal or above. If you follow my other guides, you should have that, but if not, um, then you may want to just follow my real survival speed run, um, but follow that on normal it should apply to normal but follow my real survival speed run but apply it to normal difficulty and unlock that rocket launcher first it'll make this a lot more easier all right so um you load up your last clear data this clear data you'll have all the progress from your weapons so far that you've collected and i will have my um rocket launcher unlocked baby so once again guys very oh, easy no need to make this any more difficult than it needs to be Right, so costume of Chris. Let's go. For, let's go for classic RE5. Right, yeah, we should get through it pretty quick. Um, these early Resident Evil games, I think they do. They do take a bit longer to get through, just because of. I think it's mainly all the door opening. It just eats <laughs> eats a load of the time. Um, but yeah, we won't be collecting no no ammo. Um, no healing items, so just keep keep in mind any healing yeah, items you pass. If you do get hit, you can quickly backtrack and grab them. Um, but I'll Is point some out to you along the way. Alright guys, so we've just entered the scary mansion. Really, really scary mansion. Alright, so as you can see, Chris got a rocket launcher. Yeah, baby. Yep, yeah, baby. And burn some zombies. Well, the rocket launcher doesn't even burn them. You think it completely destroys zombies, but when you've killed them with a rocket launcher, they can still come back later as crimson heads. Um, but as long as you're quick, um, it shouldn't be too much of a trouble, guys. You can just quickly aim and fire. Everything dies in almost one hit for the rocket launcher. So kill this dude. Bang! He's dead. One hit. And back to the back to the lobby. Yeah. So we're doing Chris. Both his endings, save everyone to save no one, and it's Darsenal trophy for getting the flamethrower. There's a few story trophies related to Chris, and there's one or two where we have to save. There's one where we have to save Becca, one where we have to save Chris as for Becca. No, don't want the handgun, just leave it on the floor, guys. It's just gonna eat up a slot. So, yeah, like I said, no ammo, no weapons apart for the flamethrower. Yeah, so um, we're heading, just heading up to get that golden arrowhead, I think that's what it's called. Sticking in the statue. Them two are kissing there, zombie and Kenneth. This is the same design rocket launcher as um, uh, Resident Evil 1, isn't it? Uh, sorry, number zero. Same design. Right, so straight down here, guys. Zombie here. Kill it. Boom. You're dead. Come down here. Grab this golden arrowhead in the statue. Alright, golden arrow. We'll collect a few um, uh, sub-weapons. But we'll only really collect anything that we're passing by. We won't really go out of our way for anything. Just because there's literally no need to. There's a dagger here on the left. Grab the dagger. There's a zombie on the opposite side of the um, balcony. But just leave him. He's not going to be any trouble. He'll be no trouble for you. Right down to the graveyard now. There'll be no zombies because we're on very easy. We 
weird, weird design on that door. Very weird. Still not used to camera angles. I've not played for a while, actually, to be honest, guys, since maybe my last vid. Um, so quickly examine this. Yep, to get the green arrowhead and then use it on the middle to open this tomb. The crypt, I guess. I, yeah, I've not played it a lot um, since my last video. I've been playing Neo, but I did play. I did play this for about an hour this morning just to um, freshen up my uh, skills. Well, freshen up my route, I think more like just get me back into uh, the motions. Right, so grab the book from this little um, altar. The Book of Curses. Alright, Chris, you can stop reading that now. Alright, examine the back of the book to get the sword key. Yay, we got the mansion key. Well done. Hey Cupid. Alright, back to the main lobby. I used to, I used to like the um, gameplay mechanic of the doors opening and sort of the next room loading. But after playing Resident Evil 2 Remake, it, they've done it really well and it's so... I don't miss them at all now. It's much better without the doors. I used to think that's a nice thing and it helped the survival horror. I guess it does in a way, because you're wondering what is behind that next door. But I can't help but love what they've done with the remake. It just flows, flows more, flows a lot, a lot more smoothly. Yeah, see, straight down the end of this corridor, guys, the um, tiled floor corridor. And, come on, camera. Come on, camera, don't do this. And then into this room. Yeah, another thing with Chris, why I don't like him, is he has not got lockpick. He has to, the doors that uh, need a lockpick, he has to get a key to unlock them. An old key. So, pull the plug out this bath. The zombie's going to pop up. Hey, hey, you. Oh, I missed. Grab the old key from the bath bathtub. There we go, the old key, guys. Surprised it didn't um, <laughs> go down the drain hole. Yeah, so Chris, you need these old keys. But Claire, she could just use the lockpick. There we go. But Claire, um, sorry, Le uh, Leon, Claire, what am I talking about? It's Jill. It's Jill. Yeah, Chris, he... Um, he does have a light low. I guess that's it's not really much of a bonus unless you're trying to um play on real survival with him. Because then he can burn the zombies easier, but um the way we're playing it's just no need for this um, infinite weapon. Right, so all the way around the corner. And through this door here. The shotgun as well, you actually need the broken shotgun with Chris. No Barry. Barry doesn't come to save you. He only saves women, it seems. Well, he's got a thing for Jill. Guess he's got a thing for Jill. Alright, so there's a zombie here, guys. Be ready. There we go. Then come in this door. We've, we're only coming in here for the old key. Um, if you want to save your game, guys, there's an increment in your item chest here. Just grab that and save your game. Yeah, if you want to say, you can put, um, I guess you can put the powder away if you want. The chemicals use on plants. And you can save your game. I'm not going to bother. But yeah, if you want to, if you want to save, guys, grab the ink from the box, save, and then put it back. Right, so up here, that's green herb, there you see it. In the corner. There's a zombie here, be ready to aim. Bang, dead. Very easy, guys. You shouldn't really be getting damaged here. No zombies in this hallway. Let's come to this door here near the lamp. Grab the um, whistle near this lamp.
Right, now we've got a whistle, we're heading back out into the hallway and uh, back to the um, second floor of the main lobby. Come on. Yes, we used the mansion key. Right, straight to the store opposite, guys. Now, the dogs, a lot of the time, the rocket launcher will go straight over the head if they're too close. So, if the dog is close, you need to sort of aim down and fire. If they're far away, you can um, aim at a, at a normal angle and hit them. But if they're too close, you'll need to aim downwards. So, that's what we'll be doing for this one. And then in, into the store, guys, we use the old key we just got from it near the typewriter. Now we only need one more old key, one more, and that. But that's near the end before we go for the crimson. Right, so in here, guys, um, dog whistle time. Use. Right, wait for the dog to come, and then just aim down when he's close. Here he is. Boom. Grab the um, collar. No collar, Chris. Good boy. Right, and then quickly leave for the other dog comes in. Discard the whistle when you exit. Yeah, just quickly get get out before the other dog comes. That's why you try and stay close to the door as well, so you can quickly get out. Once you're here, aim, fire, shoot, and then come through this door. I guess if you don't know what you're doing, you could get hit here just because you may run into a, a camera angle. You may run straight into a zombie, but I guess at least. And um, with watching me, I can tell you this one's going to get up, turn, shoot him. He's dead. Goodbye. Go back to sleep. And then come into this door. Yeah, so the rocket launcher doesn't com completely kill zombies first time. They may come back as crimson heads later. Um, but whatever, whatever, the rocket launcher will kill him in one hit. So it's nothing to worry about. And you have auto aim on. Right, take this mansion key, guys, from here. And then you want to examine the dog collar, take out the coin, examine the back to make it to a fake key, and then use it on that slot you just took the um, original from. Examine, let's switch, yeah. A coin, yep. Yeah. Let's look at that. Shape of a key. Interesting. Shape of a key. Right, use that fake key on it, guys. And now we can head back. Just watch you're not too fast here because you can run into that um, spiked shield just as it's going back to its original position. And yeah, through here, guys. Why did I unequip that? Now this is the dreaded camera angle room. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. I challenge you to get through that room without having to alter the camera angle. Well, with without having, well, I did, I challenge you to get through that room without getting confused with the camera angles. Oh, where I am, even in this one, there we go. Yeah, so we're heading up to um, Richard now. Richard. Snake dinner. Snake dinner, Richard. Yeah, the steps. We're not going to save him, but we do need to waste a bit of time. So what I normally do, I normally get one of the masks and get the plant mask as well. Then by the time I get up, he's normally dead. So yeah, come in here, you'll see um, 
Little Becky. Hey, Wookie. After the ev events of Zero, she should be well ad well experienced, shouldn't she really? Right, I threw her guys into this, into this little puzzle room. Yeah, she should be telling Chris and Jill what to do. After Zero. Killing a scorpion and wh whatever else there were. Alright, so you're pushing this far right knight to the wall. Uh, bottom left. And then the bottom right. Look at that. How good am I? Three moves. Three moves only. And then press the switch in the middle. Wow. Wow. And then take the mysterious box. Right. Examine the box. Press a button on the front. Where's that? Like a teardrop. Upside down teardrop. And then once you press that, press a button on the back as well. Basically, they're half. They're both pieces of a heart. And um, press them both. We'll make a little heart, and we'll open the box. Right back outside into the hallway, guys. Back to the main lobby. And 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 yeah, we're heading to the west um, safe room now. Good work, Chris. We'll be through this in no time, buddy. Me and you all the way. Who needs an extra two slots, eh? When we've got Chris Redfield. Yeah, so through this door, guys. We've not seen you in the remake yet, have we, Red? Ready? Redfield? Chris? Yeah, through this one. He was in 7, wasn't he, at the end? But we've not seen him in a remake yet. So that's going to be interesting when they finally remake him as well. His um, likeness. I wonder what they're going to. I wonder if they're going to use the same likeness as in seven or not. Right, kill the zombie guys on the steps. To be honest, in seven he did look a bit old, didn't he? Yeah, through this door. Yeah, he looked mega old. Is it just me? Did he look like mega old in <laughs> Resident Evil Seven? Right, so you do not take the medical syringe, guys. Medical syringe, I mean the serum from the shelf, do not take it. Right, put this away. Um, take a chemical to use on plants and I'm going to save my game now as well. Let's save the game just in case. Typewriter. An old typewriter, yeah, I'll save. Um, yeah, so... As always guys, do not save over your cleared save data. Data. Right, your save has been successful. Well done, guys. You've made your first save of, with Chris. How do you feel? Alright, ignore that. Alright, also, also, put the sword, the yellow key away, guys. Put the yellow key away, don't need that. So, rocket launcher, um, armor key, and the chemical. Which you can maybe use on plants. Right, so through here now, guys. Round here and through here. I really want to play Neo. It's it's been difficult for me to me too. come to this. Grab his hand grenade, guys, from this table. Yeah, and then head to the room at the end. Yeah, I really want to play Neo. So it's been hard. It's been hard for me to stop just to finish this guide off. It's been really difficult. I meant to do this yesterday. And um, I think I had a day last week. I wanted to do it. Um, so coming to this water tank, guys. Turn it to red. Yep. Yeah. Make the water fountain um, come to life. And then use a chemical to use on plants. In the, well, it's actually a chemical to put in. It, it should be called chemical to put in water tank. Right. They're dead. The plant is dead. The baby 42 plant. And right, take this mask from a shield at the back. There we go, we've got a death mask.
Right, so we've got them death mask guys back out. Now, don't worry about killing these, just quickly run to the end. Up here. And in here. We unlocked it, well done. Well done, you unlocked your fifth door. To it. Now, Richard should be dead now. Or maybe not quite yet, but by the time we get up there, he should be um, out. Out for the count. Yeah, so we're going up to the top floor. And first, just unlock this door over here. Do not get enter, just unlock it. There we go. And then um, back to it, back to Rico. Back to Fort, poor old Richard. Always getting poisoned. You'll have to examine him first. Um, so you come around the corner and examine him to find out the bad news. Oh, he's going to kiss him. <laughs> I thought he's going to do a CPR. <laughs> Looked like he's going to do CPR for a second. Oh, no Richard. All right, so come here. Bang, kill that zombie through there. You can't actually see him. Grab his hand grenade right in the corner. Yeah, Chris, I don't think CPR is going to work on a poison victim. Don't know why they trained him in stars, but no, that's not going to work. Alright, so, round the back of the table, guys, use the lighter on this lamp. There we go. There we go. Fucking hell. Well, for a second there, I thought, shit, I'll have a lighter in the box. Damn. Right, slowly move here, slowly. Quickly aim, boom. And grab the musical notes from the cabinet. Okay, score. Sorry, guys, I got the word wrong. Do apologise, musical score. And then out of the room. I have no idea why one half the score is completely it's miles away from the piano room. It just doesn't make sense at all. Someone probably playing a game, I bet. Right, kill a zombie. Quit, let's hide the musical notes from um Richard. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Yeah, so we're going back um, back to the dining room now, guys, on the on the bottom floor. Dining room, bottom floor. And we're going to let Rebecca play some music. She's getting a bit better. If you remember, if any of you have played um, Zero, you remember... Billy, Billy had to play for her. She wasn't good enough. So through this door. But yeah, here she gets a bit of practice. She gets it eventually. So into this room at the top here. And this door here. There we go. Use the mansion key. And enter. Now push this cabinet all the way to the end. There we go, they're hiding these notes pretty well. That's it, take the score and uh, combine it with this one. And then we want to use that on the piano. Expensive looking grand piano. There we go. No, no Chris. No good, you're bad as me. Oh, hey you. Sure. But sure. don't get too carried away. All right, guys. Once Rebecca's playing, exit the room. We need to just head back to the main lobby now, and then all the way back. And she's that will give her enough time to practice. Let's come through here, back to the main lobby, and they can head back. 
But um, while while you are in here, just grab the gold. Uh, the well, not the gold. The um, rusty emblem from the wall. There we go. Make sure you grab that, guys. Very important before you head back to the piano room. So back to the main lobby, guys, and then back to the piano room. I don't know exactly what the trigger is to um make Rebecca finish practicing. I know coming to the main lobby works. Um, I think there's a few other rooms you can go to and it will work. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it's it, it, um, connected to how many doors you've passed through or not. I don't know. But that normally does a trick going to the main lobby and back. So, you've got the emblem and head back to Rebecca. Oh, still a few notes out. It's not bad though, teaches herself piano in like Chris, a few minutes, eh? Chris, I think I got it. Alright, you wanna say my name again? Chris, Chris. Alright, tell it gold emblem from here. And then you see old rusty one and it's placed to raise the door back. Chris, Chris. Why should not always shouting Billy's name? In zero. All right, grab the ink ribbon, guys. From here, we may as well. We've got. We'll go. Go into half the space, and then back to the main lobby. Right, you want to put the gold emblem above fireplace. There we go. The candles are bent. They've been burning for a long time, right? Infinite candles. Oh, and then ones. Fucking hell. Right. This puzzle now, guys, on the clock. Um, You want to try it? Yes, that would help. Turn the large gear and turn it left once and then you want to do that again. So keep turning, yep, uh, large gear and left. You want to be on 6 o'clock basically, 6 o'clock. Once you've done that, say no. So 6 p.m. it needs to be set to. Basically small hand on the green at the bottom and big hand at the top. Right, grab the uh, um, mansion key. I can't remember the shape on this one. Uh, grab this ink ribbon, guys, from here, and then save your game. Let's typewriter, just in case you get poisoned by a snake. You can uh, just quickly load this game. Yeah, so just in case you get poisoned by a snake, I like to um, make a save here. Save successful. Now back to um, where Richard is laying peacefully and then pass on by and into the snake fun room. With the snake, as soon as you gain control, just aim down and fire. So just aim, hold, aim, hold down and shoot. And what will happen, um, he'll just slither straight past you and out through the opening, this little um, hole that he escapes from. So yeah, just aim down, shoot, bye bye. Hey Richard, are you dead? Forgot. Yeah, so through this room, guys. Pen of cobwebs. Right, it's a snake. Ah! Hehe. <laughs> I'm not scared. So I'm aiming ready, guys. Aim ready. And hold down. Bang. He's dead. No, no. Take me. <laughs> I'll stop you. Right. And take the death mask, guys, from this corner. So let me get see this. Um, let me get this right. We're in the attic. But he's gone into another attic? Yeah, so we're, we're going all the way back now, guys, to that first safe, the east 
savory in the first one. Yeah, so back to the first save room, guys. This is why I need to just... Don't play another game until I'm finished on one game. Because when I play another game, it can be hard for me to go back to another game. You know, once I've been playing somewhere else. Right, we're coming into here, guys. Into this room. Because we need an old key. Yeah, I'm a bit bored of this game now, to be honest, guys. As you can imagine, making these guys, I have to play through the game a lot. And yeah, after playing Neo and putting this aside for a week, I've gotten really bored of it. So it's old key, old key here, guys. Grab it and then exit. Yeah, I should have just got all these done as soon as you know, straight away, all five playthroughs done, and then moved on afterwards. But I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now, guys. Um, and of course, once you're watch watching this, you know it's been done. It's about down these steps. Just be careful in case any of these pop up as crimson heads and into the store here. Good old Wesker. No, he's not as good as Barry, but he's still, he's still not bad leaving you these items. He's left you some items here. First aid spray if you need them. So make a save now, guys. Use the ink ribbon. And save your game. So we're in about, what, 30 minutes already? It's just hard to make time in this game. Right, open the chest. You want to pull the ink ribbon away now. And you want to take the last mask. So you should have three masks, the key, the old key, and the rocket launcher. There we go. And come through this door with a dodgy handle. And into this door here, guys. Discard the key. If you can't discard the key because you forgot to use it on the door that I did, probably the grenade launcher door the, for the terrace. And um, you just have to use the old key first to pick up the death mask. Right, press the switch on bottom of this yellow picture. There we go, to turn it orange, apparently. Around the corner here. And press the switch beneath this yellow picture to turn it green. That's definitely green. And this one to turn it purple. Purpley. Turn it purpley, there we go. And then just um, press the switch a bit underneath Lisa. Lisa, I'm going to press your switch. I'm pressing her button. Right, grab the death mask. There we go, we've got four death masks now, guys. Use the old key on this gate. There we go, and head into the graveyard. Now we're going to use the death masks on the um, statues down the bottom. Kill a crimson, and then head into the courtyard. Oh, hey, Cupid again. Right, so the um, the first one is eyeless, no eyes. We have no eyes, eyeless. The next one is featureless, featureless, no features at all. All right, number three is um, no no mouthless, jawless, no noseless. <laughs> Noseless. It's not even a word, Chris. Alright, and number four is um, jawless. Right, head over here after to um, initiate the battle. Damn, he needs to give him uh, fingernails a bit of a trim. Won't be so dangerous after that. Right, 
Right, you're dead. Right, grab the um, stone and metal object guys from the coffin. Ladies and gents, grab the stone and metal object. There we go, just got a trophy, not just any object. Not just any object, also the one that Jill collected. Right, that's um let's pay a little visit to the courtyard, eh? And then to the residency. No more old keys are needed. Yeah, through here. I don't think so anyway, we I mean we do have to come back to here at some point, don't we? But yeah, we um yeah, no more old keys are needed. No more are needed. Right, zombie here, guys. Quickly shoot him. Goodbye. Now, in this room, a dog will jump out. I think he jumps out very easy. So just be quick. And he shouldn't get you in time. Yep. Use the stone metal object quickly on this little slot. And then quickly go in the door before the dog catches up to you. There we go. Just be quick there, guys, and you won't have to worry about the dog. Right, grab the um, flash grenade from the shelf, and then head through this door here. The reason I try and don't try and kill that dog is because because of the camera angle, you don't have much um, space before it's... Uh, you don't see the dog much. You don't have a bit... Uh, what the fuck am I saying? You don't have a good window to see the dog before it's about to pounce on you. So you don't get much time to react. So I just like to quickly get out. Right. This red wind dial, guys, it needs it needs to be facing west. So make you stop it on west. There we go. Bit awkward. You just need to press it just before it reaches one you want it to um, stop on. So that's the red one on west. And the blue one uh, wants to be on north. That one's a bit slower. This wind is all over the place here. Right, well, you can exit through the gate now. Just stay away from the crows and they won't attack you. Just stay away from them. Yeah, yeah, whatever, crows. Ooh, what was that? Why well, is it all the way along this chur um, church garden path and into the house at the top? A bit zombie there later. Why well, just walk past? Here we are into the little house. Up the steps, into the room at the back. There's a chest there, by the way. And grab his crank. There we go, grab a crank and then exit the room. The house. If you want to make a safe here, guys, just grab ink ribbon from your box. And then make a save of this tight right there on my left. If not, come through this doorway once you're ready. Don't come through this doorway before you've saved. If you are planning to. Because this will happen. As soon as you gain control, just shoot Lisa Trevor. And it'll knock her or him. I, f I forget which. It'll knock him down. Yikes. There we go, just one rocket. And then exit. It'll get back up. So as soon as you've shot him, just um leave. Leave the building. Right, more green herbs there if you need them. Right, just take it slow guys, there's a zombie down here. When we get to his camera angle, just shoot him. 
There we go. Because if not, you may run into him. So yeah, once you get into that camera angle where I said, just aim and shoot. And back through here. But going back to the the um, sort of outhouse, and then we're taking the other door, which will lead to the dogs and to the um, to the waterway. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I got a squawk so much. Shame we don't get to fight double-headed dogs, eh? Like them statues. Right. Aim on these all aim on all these dogs. There, if they're not if they you should be able to shoot them without having to aim down if they're not too close, guys. So yeah, just kill them three dogs. Just like that, simple. Then come through here and head around the corner and use the use a crank on the tank. Use a crank on square shaped hole. Can they make it any easier for you? The square, the square shaped crank is used on the square shaped hole. Right, after that really... Damn. That cutscene really took the PS4 to its limits. Power wise then. That cutscene made my fan speed right up on my PS4 to call it down on my Pro. Alright guys, so um, yeah, you're going along here. Along this garden path. Remember, when you come back through the later, there's going to be a little snakes drop down. And then on here. There's blue herb there on the left there, we just saw. So if you need to later, you can heal. And through this door. Just be quick here, because crows may chase you, but if you're really quick, you can get through that door before any of them get too close. So, just straight to the end, guys, and into the residency. First coming to this room at the end. Now run to the far wall, turn around, aim up and shoot this spider. You can't really hit, because you're so close when you first enter the room, you can't hit it, so that's why you have to run to the uh, wall opposite and aim up, turn around and aim up. Right, grab, what are you doing Chris? Sort it out. Right, grab the red book. Bandage with blood. I th Sorry, for a second there, I thought it said bondage with blood. I was thinking, what? Right, once you've got the book, bondage with blood, exit, bandage with blood. Right, push the box down. And then push it up this way down the bottom of the camera and just until it's over that hole that you can just see now and there we go we'll leave it there now head into this room I'm going to make a safe now safe time first aid spray there um, if you need it grab the ink ribbon from the shelf and the sub weapon there we go flash grenade Typewriter and safe. Save number four. 
Dun 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 Wait a sick of that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm in the box. Put away the crank, guys, don't need it for now. And put away the ink ribbon. And that's all you need for now. Rocket launcher and the red book. Right, so up here, over the box, down the other side, and in this door. Into the room at the end, 002. Into the room on the uh, just on the right, just beside the door you just came in. I'll bring you in here. Uh, grab the key from the shelf. Yeah, grab the residence key now. Just wait a second for the zombie to burst through. There he is. Hey you. Now you have to wait a second. Um, yeah, exit door after, and then head back to the hallway where the safe room was. Yeah, you can't aim onto that zombie straight away. You just got to wait a second before you aim, and then through this door. Yeah, wait a second before you aim, because for some reason, when he first enters the room, you can't aim onto him. I don't know why the, your character will not auto aim. So he's got to wait a second till he's about halfway between you and the door, and then you should be able to aim and kill him. Or if you want to play it safe, guys. Um, just make sure you're facing the door before he spawns in. Basically, it's to spawn him, you have to change the camera angle a few times. But you could just change it and then walk back. Oh, shit. Fucked up here. So I was talking to you. Shit, guys. Basically, what you want to do here, every time you come through here. What? I don't even know how to get on there. I didn't even know I could fucking get on them. Yeah, every time you come through here, just push this box. Like that. And climb over it. You want to come in this door here? Yeah, if you just move that box every time. It will save you um, getting damaged. Right, so come in here. And drain the bathtub. Pull out the plug and you'll find another key inside. Yep, grab that com control room key. Yeah, through here. Right, heading down to the aqua, aqua ring now. Right, so up here, guys, push this crate across, across now, to cover that hole at the bottom. Then climb over it, and through this door. And then come into a 002. And you need to push these bookshelves out of the way now, guys, to reveal a ladder. I'm sure you know this. I'm sure you definitely know this bit by now. If you don't, what have you been doing? But now you'll know that. Yeah, so climb down this ladder. Oh, not that bloody melody. Do, 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 do. Fuck. So you got to push the three crates now, guys, to um, cover the cover the water so you can get across. This is stupid. These should not float. 
I mean, what have we got inside them? Loads of balloons that have been blown up? Helium? These should not float. I mean, there's no way these can be watertight. There's no way these can be watertight. What water would just get in and they would sink over time, surely. Surely. And then number three. Well, oh, but I guess we do have zombies, don't we? And man eating plants and giant snakes. T vibe. These boxes must be infected with a T virus to make them float. Alright, so number three. And then we'll head into the um shark tank whatever it is just flooded alright so um in here guys there'll be a small cutscene straight after aim and kill the first shark there we go and be ready to kill a second. There he is. Now just keep moving now because a big one will try and jump out and bite you. If you stand still for too long, it will eat you. So just keep on keep on the move. Keep on moving, Chris. And confuse door. Discard the key afterwards. There we go. Stop the Stop the tense music. Right down the ladder. That ladder looks mega long, doesn't it? From that angle. Alright guys, so um come over to here, check this whiteboard, see what valve you have. I have open valve number one, so I have number one. Uh come over to this monitor first in the middle. Yep, yeah, there's a switch to drain it, press it. Ah! So on this switch, Our relax. Oh no, source of pressure detected. Okay, now press this um, terminal on the right. Once you've done that, press the one on the left and see what happens. See what happens. Oh no. Guess we'll just have to go and restore the oil pressure. Right, so come over here, guys, to the back. Interrupt the uh, pressure valves and press whatever switch out on the whiteboard. Mine was number one. So there we go. Number one has released it. So back over to terminals, press the one on the right. Release the safety. Safety released. Now press one on the left and pull the lever all the way down. Well done. I've activated the emergency drainage system and I did it immediately. Nice. Alright. Turn off that fucking noise. Oh, that's why. Once you've pulled down, <laughs> say. Once you've brought the shutter down, guys, you need to interact with the middle terminal once again. Yeah, I wonder what's going on then. I've obviously forgot to do that. Alright, guys, so, um, out here. We'll go and get a key now from the, uh, little Sharky. Sharky and George. So come through this room here. I guess you can just shoot this big shark now if you rocket launcher. Hey you. Peekaboo. Oh fuck. It's got a lot of kickback. Okay, I can't. You have to make him uh, animate first. Make him come to life. So climb up here guys. And in examine this sort of flashing key in the box in the corner. The little cabin in the corner. And... You can either push this in or just shoot him. There we go. Either way will work. Either push the electric panel in or shoot him. Grab this key afterwards. The residence key. 
That's it, sleep it off. Sleep it off. Right, so going back up to the residence now, guys. So through this door. Oh, not a fucking music again. Yeah, with the ladder. I unlocked it, nice. And up here. Right, into this room, guys. Now you have that key. Discard the key afterwards. Yes. Grab the um, insecticide from his body. Then head back out to the hallway. Grab the map from this wall. And straight after, open your inventory and use insect insecticide spray on this hole. Good job, Chris. Killed them all. Rocket launcher doesn't seem to work there. And then into this room here, back in the room. Back in the room where the insecticide spray was. Right, so down here, grab the key. There's bloody lot of keys in the residence. All we seem to be doing is hunting keys, right? Right, so um, into room 003. There we go, discard that. Right, there's an ink crib in there if you want to save your game, guys. But first, take the white book from here. And then use the red book, the bondage for blood. And then what you want to do, reorder the books, pick up the first one. And change it with the fourth. Pick up the second one and change it with the six. And pick up number three and change it with number seven, the last one. There we go. Right, now we've done that, let's save the game now. Ah! Yeah, we take control of little Rebecca now. And we just have to save Chris. We'll get a trophy for saving him. Oh, here I am. I've got a little gun. And my skimpy shorts. They're not really practical, are they? Alright, so interact this mechanism, guys. Use it. And right, the code is 365. It can be any combination of 365. So it's only six total combinations, guys. So I'm going to go three, three first. Three. Uh, five, uh, six. No. So let's try three, six, five, three, six, 
five. Oh, three six five. So any combination, guys, of three six five that can be. So it's only six total. So you want to go three five six or three six five, um, five three six or five six three or six three five or six five three. Yeah, fairly simple, guys. So grab all these water bottles. Sorry, empty bottles. Don't want to confuse you. Thinking, why why didn't they have water in them? Right, so take all four empty bottles, guys. We don't need them all, but um, may as well. Um, right, you want to put put fill two with water. There we go. All right. And now I need to try and remember what I'm doing here. Right, so first, you want number three, the red one. Combine that with the water to get the purple one. There we go. And then take the yellow one. There we go. Right, now combine the yellow one with the purple one to make the orange one. And then take the yellow one again. Combine the yellow one with the water to make the green. Combine the green with the orange. And then just want to take the red. Yeah, then just take the red and combine the red with the blue to make the video out. No, don't examine it. It's just chemical, nothing to worry about. There we go, we've got a video out, guys. So exit. This is the last time you have to do this. The last time you have to mix this shoddy little formula. So once you've got that, we're heading down to the aqua ring now. As Rebecca. I think we've done that every, if we've done that on every playthrough so far, the NVGL, I think we have, haven't we? Well, I'm glad to say that on the, f on the final playthrough we will not be making it. Right, so down ladder to the accurate, oh no, not this fucking music. We've got to go through this door now because the water's been drained. Of course, you already know this. It's a long way. But um, one good thing is, you don't have to go all the way back. You just have to get there as Rebecca and use them, and then you'll be back as Chris. Yes, Chris, Chris, you'll be back as him. Right, the ladder. First door. Back to the upper walkway. Yeah, I guess this this is the upper walkway, isn't it, right? Into this little ring, this ring walkway, and then into the guard room here, where you'll find the plant's roots. Right, once you're in here, just um, use that V-jolt, and it's dead. Well, it's not dead. With Chris, with Chris, all this, it doesn't kill it with Chris. What it does is it removes 50% of its health. I know with Jill it kills it, but it doesn't do that with Rebecca, with Chris. Yeah, throw the bottles away after. And then just exit the room and you'll be back as Chris. Well done, Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. I owe you one. I'll teach you how to shoot. Ugh. Bravo, Rebecca. Now, just as Chris, just aim up the rocket. Well. You have to come up the stairs. You won't... Oh, for fuck's sake. You won't reach from the bottom. Just come up the stairs, guys. Aim. Up and fire. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Don't even aim up. Just aim and fire. Yeah, so you need to come up the stairs. Herbicides. If you've been following my playthroughs, that's the first time we've actually killed the plant. So, well done, guys. I'm proud of you. 
Alright, so once you've done that, grab the key from the fireplace, the helmet key. Yes. There's some big ass leaves. Alright, so back to the mansion we go. We're in one hour, one hour so far. Chris, you're okay. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, I Rebecca. We... we got to the root of that problem. <laughs> That's not funny. It's about as funny as my jokes, Chris. We got to the root of that problem. Hehe. <laughs> Wesker. They're always scheming Wesker. Wesker. Right. Don't need to bother pushing the box now, guys. No plant. It's dead. So, just back through here now, guys. Don't need nothing with you right now. Just heading all the way back to the mansion. What we will do, because I've taken a bit of damage, so I'm going to take some healing items with me. Um, so I'm just going to grab this red herb, and then I'm going, going to grab a green herb on the way back. The snakes, if they do poison you, there there is a blue herb just before we go back into the mansion. So don't worry, if you do get poisoned, we should be using that blue herb to go back into magic. So there's two dogs here now, guys. Just aim and fire. Two of them. Yeah, got them. You'll know when you've got them because you'll hear a little s scream. Yeah, dog scream. So up here, remember snakes. Snakes and um, ladders. No, just snakes. Well, there's a ladder here. But just run across, guys. There's a snake here in the corner. You can't hit it. That one there. There we go. That one always poisons you. So you can try and kill it if you want. Well, it doesn't always poison you, but it always catches you when you try and run past. So you can, on its right. So you can try and kill it. Um, but it's just annoying for the camera angles. Well, not the camera angles, but so many snakes running after you, you'll just keep aiming on different ones. So, um, yeah. Either just run past it if you want. Or just use this, um, just run past it and use this blue herb, um, which is here. Um, or just try and shoot it like I did on the side that I did. Don't try and shoot it on the right, it normally jumps at you when you run to its right. So, make sure you've got full health, guys. Because what the hunters will do, if your health is too low, they can instant kill you with a jump, like a jump leap. Um... So in here, guys, grab the um, grab the flash grenades, sub weapon, and there's some first aid spray. So if you do need them, so yeah, make sure your health is full when you go back into the mansion, because the hunters can one hit kill you if your health is too low. I think some difficulties, they can still instant kill you when you're sort of in the green. But I think if you've got full health, oh, I don't think you can. So keep your health full. Here it comes. Turn around, shoot him. You'll have to run away. Just run away for a short distance. Wait for him to jump. And then turn around and make him a new anus. Well, that's going to be another few here. There we go. And there's another one at the top, I think. And uh, no, there isn't. So, come in this room afterwards, guys. And uh, we're just going to make a save now. So, just make a save. Yep, you see ink ribbon. Right, put the ink ribbon away now, guys. And that's all you need for now. The um, rocket launcher and the helmet key. So 
So it's coming to the store at the end. Yeah, I couldn't remember most difficulties. There's two hunters on there, but I couldn't remember if there's one or not on easy. So I'm um, just playing it safe. Some healing items, so if you need them. So come in here with the helmet key. And this is that fucking annoying camera angle shitty puzzle room. Um, so first of all, just start pushing this down. There we go. Just keep pushing it all the way down. Careful where you put your hands on the statue. I know what some of you are like. So all the way to the end. Don't worry, the wall will not squash you. Right. You've touched her and pushed her all the way to the end. So now come down here and press this fucking switch at the back. There we go now. Once you press it quickly, get out there before you get flattened. And come back in. And now push this to the free the free slot at the end. And once you're in line, the statue will get taken in automatically. There we go. Once you've done that, grab the sub weapon from this cabinet the top of the cabinet, the drawers and then jump down the hole at your feet grab the red book from the floor the last book volume 1 and then interact with this little um, inscription thingy oh it's a tomb isn't it, tombstone rip, rest in peace I've never seen that before and then climb down the ladder Spiders down here, guys. So shoot that one on the wall. He's dead. Come around here and shoot. Should be. In ah, it's only two. There we go. So you got them two spiders to shoot. If you did get poisoned, there is a blue herb here. There it is. If you did get poisoned, shoot that zombie. There's a zombie just. There's a zombie there in that water, and there's a zombie just down this path here. Now grab the sub weapon. So there's two zombies in this hallway. Grab the sub weapon. They come to the end and uh, flick the circuit breaker to start the elevator. There we go. It's functioning again. That's all we had to do. I think that zombie pulled it. Right then, um, head in the elevator. There we go, we unlocked it. Well, yeah, kill a zombie. Grab a sub weapon, guys, from the t from the table, the kitchen table, and head on to the elevator at the end. There we go, use it, call it down, and then once it's arrived, get in. Fifth floor, please. Menswear. Jeez, that rocket launcher is massive, isn't it? Right, it's gonna be a zombie just over here. Kill him. If you need to, there's some healing items there. Come around this corner. There's another zombie, shoot him. And then come to this door. Right, all you want to do is grab the battery, guys. Grab the battery and the sub weapon. And then head out the door. Right, and maybe some we may run in some crimson heads in a minute, guys. It's down here and into this corridor. Yeah, there may be some crimson heads down here. Whoa, whoa, there he is. Be ready to kill him. Shit, that that almost made me jump then. So yeah, be ready to kill that dude. Come down here and enter this door here. Shit, he did make me jump for. S I think he did. I think I'd, I. I didn't physically jump, but I think I jumped a little bit inside. Yeah, so be ready to shoot that crimson head. And um, coming all the way to the, to the end here, guys. We're going to kill the snake. 
you used the mansion key. Two green herbs there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shoot at the rocket launcher ones. Uh, jump down, jump down here. Man, you got to shoot it once more. Just come over here so the camera angle changes. And then shoot him, he's dead. You should not get poison there. You should not get hit. Right now, grab the last book, volume two. So we've got two last books, okay. So grab this, the second last book. I wonder how many last books there are. Kind of ruins the name, doesn't it? Last book, when well, there's two of them. All right, so back up ladder, guys, and um, yeah, let's get out. She's got a trophy there, you see that? You need to heal two green herbs there. Right, no enemies here now. We've killed them all. No, um, no crimson head. He's dead. Yeah, so back here and through into this door, guys. Now maybe a crimson head here. I can't remember if these guys despawn or not. I think they do despawn. Yeah, despawned. So down these steps, uh, steps, stairs, and into the safe room here. Right, you can make it safe now if you want, guys. Um, but you can put the last, put the two books away. Get rid of them now. There we go. Keep the battery. In fact, we need a crank as well. We'll have to go back and get that soon, though. Yeah, so just keep the battery for now, guys. But put the two um, last books away. That sounds really fucking stupid, saying two last books. And we just want to come in this room. Room. I meant to go in here when we passed by, but I forgot. So yeah, just make sure you come to this room. And all we want from here is the yellow jewel. So if press the switch on the wall. In fact, we need both jewels. That's right. Yeah, we do. We need both jewels from here, the red one and the yellow one. So push this to the end, and then push the other cabinet to the end. There's just a weapon there in the corner that you can grab. I'm sure you know this puzzle by now. Basically, you can't grab a jewel if the eagle's facing it. You have to lure the eagle to face the opposite direction and then grab a jewel from the opposite side. So there we go. Now I'm going to grab a red jewel. Yeah, or red gemstone. Now I'm going to grab the yellow gemstone. There we go, got got him. I wonder if I can do this in two hours. Right, so um all the way back downstairs now and uh, to the door at the end. Yeah, I wonder if I can do this in two hours. Yeah, just be quick here guys. No need to stop and kill him. They shouldn't pose any problem as long as you're quick. Right, once you come in here, shoot these two zombies. Him up there, and there's another one over there. Well, there was. He's dead now. Come down here, grab the sub weapon from this little shelf at the end, and then come into this door. Right, um, come over to this tiger. And you want to use the yellow gemstone to receive the. Ammo disc, the moo moo disc. There we go, we need that to a uh, rescue Jill.
Why do you have to wait for it to turn back around every time? Tiger with yellow and blue eyes. Right, exit the room. Now we are heading to the main lobby. Main lobby now. Right, there may be a crimson in crimson head in here, guys. So first you just want to aim just in case. So first aim. And confess door. He wasn't there. He's probably laying with can he's probably playing with Kenneth. So main lobby. Yeah, this room at the end. Yeah, just make sure you discard the key afterwards. Coming to the store at the end here. Shoot the zombie quickly. Uh, grab this jewelry box and do the f fucking annoying puzzle, annoying puzzle on it. Combine with the jewelry box, uh, uh, the red gemstone. Combine it for jewelry box and then place all the pieces inside. Yeah, so you want that piece, and then you want this piece. It's not got to be perfect guys, you just got to get them all to roughly fit in. No, no, it's not fit. Oh, there we go. Bloody hell, loads of, <laughs> loads of space for this one. Right, once you've done it, just press X again to open the box, take the key out, examine the key to make, uh, examine the brooch to make it turn into a key. There we go. Exit the door afterwards. And then back to the main lobby. Right, so back to back into the graveyard now, and um, back into the eastern area. We'll um, we'll just head to the item box one more time, guys. To take the crank out and to put the um, set the metal ring away. Put the metal ring away. Yeah, and then we'll head into the caves. One thing we do want to do now as well is if you not have if you have not got the trophy for burning two enemies at once, um, we'll just do something flat now just to get ready for it later on because we'll make a safe later. And if you haven't got it, that's a very easy spot to get that. Um, so yeah, so into this room, guys. Make a safe if you want. Um, but you do need to pick up, what are you doing? Pick up the canteen, make sure you pick up the canteen guys, yeah, and fill it up. Fill it up here with the tank, there we go. Alright, once you've done that, come over to the item box, put a fuel canteen away, and put a disc away. You don't need them no more, take the crank out, so you want, you want your weapon, rocket launcher, battery, crank, and emblem key. That's what you need guys. So exit. Save your game if you wanted to. I'm not going to bother. I've had enough listening to that ticking, that ticking sound. When it's saving. Ooh, door knob's been repaired. 
Don't know about um, Wesker bought his repair door repair kit with him as well. All right, guys. So into here, discard the key afterwards. Afterwards. Yeah, you got to quickly get to Rebecca as well. Just quickly though, um, turn the lamp on. Yeah, turn the lamp on quickly. Come into here, grab the metal object. Grab a sub weapon. And through here. Yes, I know, I should have come through here before I went to the item box room. Like I said, it's because it's been a week or two before, you know, since I've played, I've just forgotten some of the, you know, more optimum steps. But it's only wasted a minute or so. So you need to come in here. Rebecca is in this room. You heard that scream. And you need to be quick here, guys. If you're not quick enough, and Rebecca would die. And you will lose the trophy. And you have to reload an earlier safe. So if Rebecca's dead, by the time you get into this room, you're going to have to reload an earlier safe. Because this trophy is missable. And this will stop you getting a good ending as well. So just quickly kill that hunter. What? Oh, I didn't even shoot there. Unless my rocket can Rebecca. curve around walls. Chris. You okay? Chris! Chris! <laughs> I did it. That was nice of me. You're welcome. Alright guys, now we can really head to the caves. Come on, we've got this, guys. I want to be done in 30 minutes. Well, well, I won't have gotten the good ending, of, at least. Right, straight through here. Straight across the waterway now, guys. If you do get poisoned, don't worry. Just after you leave, just after you leave this area, there'll be some herbs just on your on your left, well, on the left of the screen. So straight along this path up the ladder. Just be quick here to avoid the snakes. Oh, this lift. Like I say, if you get poisoned, there's a there's a, a pot of herbs just on the side here. There we go, the blue ones. And come down here. Use the battery t uh, battery on the hole. There we go. We can use the elevator now. Let's go up the elevator. We need to use a crank now on the. Use, we need to use the um, square shaped crank on the square shaped hole now. There we go. Hair looks a bit grey there, Chris. Getting old. Right, the sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. What coincidence? Right, and um, back into the elevator, guys. And we can head into the caves now.
All we've got left is the caves and the laboratory. That's all we have left, the caves and the labs. Right, some hunters in here, so you want to make sure your health is full. Um, if you want to head, there's a safe, there's a safe in a box. Um, but once you're ready, come straight into this door here next to the ladder. If you're worried, just go to that safe, guys. It's um, just at the end of the, um, along that path, and then come back into this door after. All right, so it's a green herb here. I'm going to use this just because I've been hit a few times. And I want to make sure my health is full for the hunters. Did I only quit my rocket launcher? I did. Yeah, so straight into this room here. We'll get the flamethrower soon as well. And we should get this um, star small trophy. But, but, I've not equipped the samurai edge, I don't think. So I need to equip, I'm going to have to equip that as well. Alright, so um, now I'll grab the hexagon shaped crank. Oh, poor guy. Just like Richard. Right, now quickly run to the door at the end. Just be quick. You can shoot this until it appears if you want, but it's quicker to just run straight to the end of the door like this. Sorry, straight to the end of the path and then into the door. Right, in the elevator room, just head back out to the door you um, originally came through. There we go. We're going to go. We are going to kill these hunters in there, though. So just be ready to uh, shoot them. When you when you hear them, just aim and shoot. Come to this corner. When you hear, just aim and shoot. There he's up there. Right, blue herb there if you want, if you think you're going to get, there's going to be a spider soon, just in case you think you're going to get poisoned. Right, interact with the box. Let's pull that, um, let's put that away. What one is it? We need the hexagon one. So put a green handled one away and put a metal object away. There we go. If you want to save your game, guys, ink ribbon there. I'm going to leave it for now. Come to here and use the hex hexagonal shaped crank on the hexagonal shaped hole. It's your he hexagon, isn't it? No, an octagon. Hexagon. Alright, oh, so there's green herb there. Come in this door. Now, like I say, flamethrower, this should be the last weapon you need. Um, but if you not, if you have not equipped the um, samurai edge, let's just see. So grab a flamethrower, guys, from up here. Chris's flame. Only he can get that. It's exclusive to him. Just like the grenade launcher, it's exclusive to um, Jill. Yeah, we've got a star signal trophy, guys. Right, so run over to this boulder. And then back down, quickly running this, quickly running there, back to where the door was to avoid it. Whoa, nice roll. He's got big ears, ain't he, Chris? Right, so now the um, stone has revealed a passage. Stone? It's a big stone. Now the boulder has revealed a passage. Um, head through it and into the store. Right, it's going to be a spider boss. You want your rocket launcher? Just quickly shoot it with your rocket launcher. Ah! You're not so scary. There we go. Right. Once you've killed it, just exit the room and come back in, and that will despawn all the other enemies. It's quicker just it's quicker to just leave and come back in after you've killed them. After you've killed after you've killed a big bad. Just leave and come back in. It's a lot simpler. Otherwise you're gonna have little spiders running around and them other ones on the walls. That's it guys. So yeah, you're gonna have to get that knife. Oh, you can cut it with the rocket launcher. Didn't realise. So just shoot with the rocket launcher. There we go. And they come in the door. I wonder if you can just shoot it with a handgun. Right, if you did get poisoned, you shouldn't have. Um, there's blue herbs there. But yeah, once you come in here, put a flamethrower back on the wall. 
Even if you don't... No, don't equip it, you idiot. Chris, you are fucking useless. There we go. So, even though we don't use the flamethrower, you still need to take it off the wall, guys. Because yeah, you need it. You actually need it in your inventory at some stage for it to count. Right, so, over here. Again, hexagonal shaped crank on the hexagonal shaped hole. Now, just keep using it. You have to use it three times, guys. At which point, once you leave the inventory screen, that boulder up ahead will come rolling towards you. Yeah, Indiana Jones style traps. Temple of Doom. Right, it's quickly running this little space on the left here. And it rolls straight past. Right, enter this room. Little puzzle here. This one's a bit annoying as well, I think. Yeah, this puzzle is a bit annoying. So, first of all, um, come over to the statue, push it all the way to the part of the wall that's different coloured. There we go. Once you push it over there, use a crank on this wall hexagonal shaped crank to make that part of the wall come out and it'll push your statue out into the middle of the room which will allow you to get get to it from both sides yes from both sides I'll just repeat that in case you didn't hear me yes from both sides so now you can come here and push onto the center disc there we go it'll spin around like this Go back onto it and push it back onto it. And then the song will start. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Alright, stop it. Now push this all the way to the end. Hit him with his feet, like Chris. Tap dancing. Oh, you're not quite in the right hole. Oh, there it is, it is now. Right, grab the um, cylinder. Yeah, I remember the name, cylinder. Chris sounds like he's got sounds like he's got heels on. I don't think I've noticed. I don't think I've realised that before. Oh, it's just in that room. In that room, sounds like he's got heels on. All right, guys. So back in, back to the elevator room. If you remember where that was, just keep heading back can't really get lost we'll make what we'll do we'll make a save on the way past as well yeah let's do that let's make a save on the way past hey you yeah be ready to kill that hunter I forgot he was there to be honest. He only shows up with Chris and I forgot about that. So yeah, kill that hunter and come through here. Now put this shit away. Let's get rid of the that crank. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Now let's get the ink ribbon and let's save make a save guys. I've not saved it for a while. So yeah, I'm gonna make a save now. Loading content. Chris. Yeah, that, that other samurai, that other samurai edge weapon, if you need it, it should be in your box. You get that from completing it under five hours. But if you've got a rocket launcher, which is under three, of course you're going to have that. Alright, so I've made a save. So we're heading back to the elevator room now, guys. All the way back here. Uh, through this door at the end, next to the ladder. And into this door here. Right, so come over to this room. Um, room. <laughs> this like electrical panel over here. Take the um, shaft out. Then combine, combine the shaft with the cylinder, and then use the completed shaft and cylinder on the control panel. And now what the order we need to press them in is four, two, three, one. 
So four, two, three, one. There we go. Power has been restored. Now just go into the elevator now, guys. Operate it and uh, go down. Yep, yeah, that's an elevator switch there. Want to press it? Sure, why not? Alright, so exit after and um, take this door in the corner, guys. Yeah, we just need to send the, the um, cardboard box across now. Get the flake. The flake? The fake flamethrower. So come down here. Take left first at the fork. Shoot Lisa. Oh, did I miss? I think I did. Either way, don't matter. Just come over here. And you need to come to this room here. Lisa, Lisa Trevor um, always appears either. Once your path forks, it'll always appear at which path you take first. So if you want to go right, go left first to make her appear there. And then go the other way. Right, so pushing this crate onto the um, cargo lift now. This is that um, incredible magical f crate that floats. Airtight, watertight. Once you've got it on there, press the switch on the control panel just to the side. There we go, send it away. Right, so we're going to see Lisa Trevor again. So again, just come down here, make her appear there, and then run the opposite way and back into the room with the elevator. Shit. Down here. And into this, back here into the elevator room. I think what I'll probably do after this run, I'll probably just get something to eat quickly, and then I'll quickly do the last one, get them both out of the way. Uh, so guys, uh, down this ladder. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to try and. I'm not going to get a chance to um, record anything for the next few days for commentary, so I wouldn't mind getting some something I'm uploaded for Neo as well. Just be something small, uh, nothing big like this. Um, just some like, sort of brief, sort of five-minute videos, if that. Um, just things that will help you out in the game, basically. Right, yeah, this crate needs to go all the way to the end, guys. Underneath the um, piston. And um, enter out the control panel, squash it, then go down, grab a flamethrower, and then exit back into the room you just came from. Yeah, I, I'd like to do um, just a few vids that I don't think anyone else has done yet in Neo, and I think would really help. Probably shouldn't be talking about that game now because I'm playing Resident Evil. I should be talking about this game, right? This series. Yeah, grab a broken flamethrower. Yeah, it just starts on my mind because I'm playing that as well at the moment. It's it's right on the edge of my mind, you know. Edge tip in my mind. Yeah, it's, I look at when I look at for guides for that Neo. They're always like guides like end game, like nothing to really help you when you first start the game. And to be honest, that's when it's probably most difficult. When you first start the game, I admit I did have a lot. Of, I did find Neo very hard to begin with, and a lot of the guides don't help because. Let me just stop for a minute, guys. Let me just do this. So at this fork, go left, shoot Lisa Trevor. Did I miss? There we go. Put her out of um, service. Come over to this panel, uh, panel lever. Pull it. And then quickly one back the other side before Lisa gets up. There we go, sounds like she is now. Yeah, come down here. Come here and use a broken flamethrower. That's it, and come in this room. Now in this room be quick and there will be snakes in the water, but as long as you're quick they won't catch you. And they won't follow you out of the water, so once you're out you're safe. Yeah, sorry Neo. Um yeah, a lot of the guides they they 
they help, but they're always with like end game builds, and there's nothing that really helps you with you know really early game early builds, and that's just something I'd like to do to help people out. So once you left the water, guys, grab this jewelry box, the third jewelry box, and examine it to find the I think it's a stone ring. Yeah, you grab a stone ring. And kind of like, oh, there's a sub weapon there. There's a sub weapon on that bed. Did you see it? If you need it, I'm not going to bother. Um, it's green and blue mix there if you need them. Chris, where are we going? Alright, so climb the ladder afterwards. Back into the little house. We're not going to do this in two hours. No chance. Alright, so climb up here, guys. Come over to the box. Now, what you want, you want two books. And that's what you want, guys. So we can combine that metal object. Let's combine it. There we go. So I'm going to keep the ink ribbon on me. So, rocket launcher, stone and metal object. I've just combined them two, and I want both the last books. And I'm going to keep the ink ribbons on me. Make sure you've got one space left because you'll need it soon. Don't worry about saving. We'll save later. So, um, out of here now and then back into the mansion, guys. And down into the basement of the mansion. To finish off Lisa Trevor. Right, might be Crimson Zombie here, guys. Just be ready. There's one there, but I'm not aiming onto him for some reason. Oh, I killed him. There he is. He'll only... It's because he's only going to get up if I walk over him. So, yeah. Just be wary of that Crimson Edge, guys. Basically, that zombie was killed earlier. Now, there'll be some zombies near. There should be... Hey, you. Alright guys, back in the mansion, um, you're not coming back in here, so grab a, I'm going to use the first aid spray just to refill my health. Right, and then here, we, we are going to have to take the stone and metal object out of the slot, that's why I need to make sure you add one free slot free. So take this metal object here, there we go, we should have two now. Yep, into, into the um, gallery and then into the graveyard, then into the main lobby and then down into the basement. Almost there, Chris. Almost there, buddy. Brad will come and save us. Don't worry, mate. We're almost there. Stars veteran Chris. Alright, so down the bottom, guys, and down to the back of the steps. Now, you need to make sure the ammo disc is in your box. So make sure you've got the ammo disc, make sure it's in your box, guys. Gonna need it for rescuing Chris later. Right, once you've used, used both the stone and metal objects on the gate and then go through.
two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it. Yes. You can take him back out of the door if you want to, by the way. No need, but just let you know. Right, so save the game. This is why I kept the safe um, in Kruben on me so I could save my game. Save number eight, stairway. Yeah, so down here, we want to keep. We need to save Wesker. It doesn't. Know, it doesn't ask you for Wesker anyway. It's only Barry where you get asked if you want to save him or not. So over here, guys, and down the ladder. Whoa! Yeah, so you can, you can just use the rocket launcher here. Very easy. Just shoot, Lisa Trevor, shoot, push one down. Yeah, so just shoot, Lisa Trevor, push one down. What happened? Did I kill her? I didn't even know you could kill her. Did I knock her off or something? I have no, I have no idea what happened then. Where's Wesker? Hey, Wesker. Nice job. All right. So once the gates open, guys, you can uh, head up the lift. I didn't even know you could kill her. To be honest, I, well, I probably never even tried. Ah, oh, so you can kill her, can you? All right, guys. So we've got both last books. Very important. You need them to um open the gate to the labs now this first emblem I think the first slot examine the book in the middle I think you need to I think it's a blue book yeah alright open the book up then oh there we go right the wolf medal yeah, the wolf, you use a medal from a blue book on that statue. And the one on the opposite, opposite side, you use a medal from the red book. There we go, the gold medal. Eagle medal. There we are, awesome graphics again, which is really pushing the PS4 Pro to its limits. Right, uh, down the little passage that's open in the middle, and down the elevator. Right, um, I'm going to run you through the motion of burning two zombies at once, just in case you haven't done it already. I'm just going to run you through the steps, guys, the way you do it, like I say, just in case you haven't. You should have. You should have. I think I, I think I just got it by chance. I didn't even think I meant to. Um, but we'll just save a game first. We should have them ink ribbons from before. So just save, make a safe first. Now, yeah, make a save. So basically, if, if you mess this up, all you're going to do is you're going to reload and try again until you've got this. But like I say, I'm just going to run you through the steps. So I'm going to put the ink ribbon away. I'm going to take out the fuel canteen. There we go. I've got my lighter with me. We'll come back to the box in a minute. And um, I've got my lighter. So, should be two zombies here. We need to do it on this run because if we fail, we can reload. There's, a, there's fuel there you can see in the corner. Alright. So, you'll see that all these zombies fall down. I just want to get to a better angle. 
Now when you shoot these, they just fall straight back. They do. Like that, they fall straight back. So it's easy, just got to get the other one. In fact, I think I've messed this up a bit already. Alright, so once he's standing at the zombie's feet, I can shoot him and he should fall straight onto it. Where the fuck are you going? Alright, so once he's near his feet, and... No! That was bad. Completely messed up. Yeah, so here you can just try and burn them both at once. I'm not sure that's going to work. No, it didn't. So let me try that again, guys. It won't take me long to load up. There we are. I think what happened there, because I I stopped in that room for a second to um, just show you that fuel tank, um, that first zombie got too far around the side and made the camera angle a bit more difficult to tell where they were. So, so fuel canteen guys, uh, fuel, no not the mo disc, not yet, fuel canteen, where is it, come on baby, yeah, fuel canteen, there we go, straight in, fuel canteen, straight down, oh, that's better, Sh just shoot that zombie, now you, now we're just basically going to wait for that zombie to come up. Hey you. Once you're standing near that zombie's feet, shoot him for the rocket launcher. He'll fall back on his ass. Hopefully lay on him. Well, once he's near his feet, there we go. There we are. Look, they're, they're inside each other. Oh, do, double headed zombie. There we go, these will both burn together now once I burn them. There we go, that's two zombies burned at once. Yeah, not too difficult, guys. Like I say, you might have that trophy already. I think I've got it. What's it on my other account or this one? Um, marshmallows, something about marshmallows. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we are, break out marshmallows. Burn up two zombies at the same time. Right, so put a fuel canteen away, you can put an ink ribbons away now, guys. And all you want is an MO disc and the rocket launcher. That's all you need, guys. MO disc and the rocket launcher. I'm just wondering where I got that trophy. Let's look at my screenshots. What the fuck is going on there? Looks like it's Jill, Jill Schreiden. Ah, oh, so I burned them too, did I? Yeah, so if you fail that, just reload the safe, guys. And just retry until you've done it. Very... Very simple to do. Right, so there's a zombie here. Be ready to kill him. There we go. This room here. Now, if you need it, there's a healing item in the room at the back. In the room at the back here, here there's a healing item on the shelf down here, and there's a sub weapon, but I don't really need it. So monitor, right password is John. Uh, well login is John. Login and the password is Ada. There we go, accessing. And then we want B2F, which the password will be cell. C E double L. Yep. And then make sure you unlock B uh, B three F as well. And that's it. They're both unlocked. Cancel once done. Quit. Yes. That's what cancel means, doesn't it?
Right, we've got this. We've got this, Chris. Right, so um, back upstairs now, guys. Whoa, whoa, where are you going, Chris? Right, grab this ammo disc off this uh, table at the back and then enter this door. Now it's been unlocked. Healing item in here if you need it, guys. First aid spray if you need it. So, first come over to this panel here. Um, passcode is 8462. 8462. Yay! I did it. Yeah, 8462. Grab this ammo disc here. That's the last ammo disc we need. As you can see, Chris's inventory is getting pretty tight now. And grab this key from in here. Laboratory key. And then we can exit. Almost there. Almost at the end. Five or ten minutes left. Five or ten minutes. down here shoot the zombie oh completely missed there we go sub weapon on here guys if you want it there we go dagger all right use the laboratory key to open this door and all we're doing in here there's an mo disc there's a little reader we need to use the mo disc on so climb up here uh, Climb, climb up here, go into this little hole, top here, uh, run up, go into this hole, and then you should be in the back of this room, so jump down now, run to the end, you can use the ammo disc on the reader at the end, there we go, that's one ammo disc down, two to go, there's a sub weapon here as well at the side of the monitor, there we go, now be ready. There we go, because something's going to drop in. There we go, just be ready to turn around and shoot it. Yeah, once you get near that shelf, you'll hear it drop in. And then once you killed it, um, push the shelf and then exit back through the door you came in originally. Now into this room here. Yeah, you've unlocked it. Discard the key afterwards. Let's come straight back here, down here, and into this door here. Yeah, that room we're just in, there's no zombie. There's normally two zombies in there, but it's not on this difficulty. So, down here, shoot the buddy. Oh no, what's she doing? Yeah, shoot him. There we go. Take out the yeah. Once you kill that bloody giant bug, take out the capsule. And then go take it out. What? You just sunk into the floor. Yeah, head back into this room now. Then we're just going to head into the last save room. Not the last one we enter, but the last one we find. So, in here, guys. We'll save it in that save room where we're in last on the way out. But this is the last one we'll find. Um, so, Ink Cribbon. Have we got Ink Cribbon on us? No, but it's one near the typewriter. There it is. So, yeah. Save your game now, guys. <coughs> I'm going to do a different slot. If you haven't done that trophy yet for burning two zombies, do not save over that last save. Because you'll need to do that again at some point to get that trophy. Right, so we made a save. We're going to go and put that empty capsule and get the um 
get that fragile liquid now put inside. What's it called again? The nitrose chemical or something? <clears throat> Yeah, so straight through this door. Now on your way back for chemical, if you do need to shoot, um, just shoot. I don't think it blows it up. Just make sure you don't walk. Walking, um, sorry, make sure you don't run. Of course you need to walk. Yeah, make sure you don't run. That seems to be the only thing that triggers it from what I can tell. So there's a zombie around the corner here. Well, a was. Yeah, kill him. The use of ammo disc on this reader here. <laughs> there we go. Right, they come over here and grab their capsule. Well, put the capsule inside and get their nitrous chemical. Now, if you use the analog stick, it can be a little bit tricky sometimes. If you if you're not careful and you push it too far, it can cause you to die. So, if you want to make sure you never run, use a use a D pad. With the D-pad, which is tank controls, you will not run unless you hold another button in. So it's very easy to do it this way. So yeah, once you've got a nitrous compound in your capsule, you need to just walk, walk back afterwards. And like I say, if you do encounter any enemies, um, just shoot them. Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, see, it doesn't blow it up. You're okay shooting an enemy if you have to. But I wonder if splash damage. Does that blow it up? No, not even splash damage. So for some reason, that capsule only detonates when you run. Right, just need to go and put a capsule in then. Yes, now I can head back and turn the um, elevator on. Head to the far room at the back. We'll just be running past a lot of these bugs. You can you can stop and shoot them, but it's normally about three in each area, and it's not really any needs. You can just run past them. This one, you're going to have to shoot them because you need to use the disc. So shoot them when they appear, so it gives you time to use the disc. So last disc. There we go. That's all three of the discs now. Now we can rescue Jill. Right. Um, now just um, run to the door. Like I say, it's no need to stop and shoot. As long as you're quick, you can literally just run straight past them all. Right, uh, come to this terminal at the end. The blue one, there we go. Start it up. Yeah, and now head all the way back now. Make sure you run past. Make sure you keep running around the way you're heading. Don't run back the way you came, because w that bug will be on the wall, on the ceiling, waiting for you. Just keep running around after. Right, quickly to the end, guys. Well, mate, one more save here. Then one more save at the end, and then we're good. Yeah, through here. In fact, there's no need to make a save at the end. Um, we'll just make this one save here. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I think there is. No, I do. I do. Yeah, we're making a save now, guys. And there'll be one more, and that'll be it. 
So yeah, typewriter time, increment time, put the increment inside the typewriter and type in save. So it's going to save without a top one. I don't need it no more. I've got the trophy for burning two zombies at once. You should have as well. All right, so let's do it. Now that save we just made, don't overwrite that in case you make any mistakes. Because once you've killed this boss up here, um, that's only so far back you can actually retrace your steps. So press the switch to turn on the elevator. Well, to call it down. And then you can head inside. Oh, Rebecca. Rebecca. Chris, Chris, Chris. Rebecca. You been playing any piano lately? Oh, she's got a Beretta. I've got a rocket launcher. Right, let's go do it, Rebecca. Yeah? I'm counting on you, don't let me down. Ah, Wesker. Bye, Tyrant. Alright. So. <laughs> so. So. Come over to the back here and press this panel to release your lock. There we go. Lock's been released. Yeah, you don't need the file, guys. That's just... Um... Oh, Rebecca. Are you okay? Yeah, get Rebecca up. And then exit the door. Right, we're about to finish, guys. There's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll... Well done, Rebecca. Right, come in here, guys. Make your last save for the game. Well, for this playthrough. And remember, do not overwrite that last one you made. Because after you've killed that boss we just did, there's no way to retrace your steps. So, Chris, number 12 for me. So I'm saving 11 and 12. Right, let's go and save everyone. Then we'll load 12 back up. And then we will save no one. Yikes. Yeah, so through here, guys, into this door here, because we need to go and rescue little old Jill. Yeah, push all the levers, pull all these levers down on here. Yeah, come down here and uh, release Jill from her cell. Hey Jill. Chris. Sorry I made you wait. 
Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. No, no. Let's save that for later. Right, let's do it, Jill. Jill sandwich. Jill and Rebecca sandwich later, eh? Right, where is she? Oh, here she comes. Come on. Don't make me wait. Let's get going. Yeah, all right, all right. Adiel. Cheeky. She's got some cheek. I I rescue her, then she's got cheek to run ahead and tell me to fucking hurry up. I think all personnel need to evacuate immediately. Alright, you should find both your buddies up here. Um, just up this ladder. Into the store here. Well, but Rebecca will come shortly. Don't worry, she will be here. She'll make it. Oh, Brad, running out of fuel, no way. So come to the end here, grab this power unit, uh, fuse unit even, from there. And use it on the wall here. There we go. And that's Rebecca just running in, just on time. Right, so now we've just got to quickly kill a tyrant. The rocket launcher will kill it. Um, so quickly grab the flare rockets and then use them. Hey! Don't you do that! Ha! Ah, dodge that motherfucker! Hey, rescued everyone. You the man, Chris. You the man. Hey, my clothes changed. Fingerless gloves, hard, hard man. All right, so that's one ending, guys. Chris, Just got to reload. Uh, two hours fourteen. Okay, we're in this together. Alright, so let's make another cleared data. So damn, four cleared datas now. Alright guys, so I need to reload that last save. I know. No, it's not going to work. Right, load game. And Chris 12 Lab Lounge. Right, so all we're doing now, we're not going to get Jill from herself. We're going to make her wait just a little bit longer until the mansion blows up. We're going to leave her waiting. All right, so Tyrant is dead. Remember, I did save just after killing him. We came downstairs on the downstairs, came down the elevator with Rebecca. She went to initiate the self destruct sequence, and I made a save. <sighs> so. Through here now. So, again, come this way. If you go the other way, if you go the other path, um, some of them giant bugs will appear. So come through here. Come through this gate now. Do not go the other door. We're leaving Jill now. We're leaving her. Excess baggage. We're leaving that excess baggage down there. Chris don't need no women. One, one man army. 
Chris Redfield. Stars, longest running member after Wesker. Right up the steps. And into this door. All we do now, Jill's already dead. I know there's still one person alive. Jill's already dead and we need to save nobody for a trophy. What we're going to do, we're going to let Tyrant kill Rebecca. <laughs> and that is how you um, exploit both the endings with um, one playthrough. So, again, use a fuse unit on here. Three minutes. Three minutes. Until finished game but, uh, yeah so that's about it guys after this it will be one more playthrough which is no saves which is going to be very very straightforward it's basically basically just doing what we did now again but uh, we'll probably do it as Jill I think Jill's a little bit quicker um, and we will not risk anybody so no need to get the discs and do that messing about for MO discs uh, so take signal rockets yep yeah. And use them. Yeah, let him, like I said, let him kill Rebecca. Kill her. Kill her for me. No, pick her up. He'll only kill her. Well. No, no, do not do that. Let me use the forklift. Let me use the forklift. Am I taller than this forklift? What the fuck? Yes, killer. I <laughs> I command you. Killer. I command Yes. There's no way to survive that, Rebecca. A first aid a first aid spray will not cure that. Right. You motherfucker. Let's try again. Aha. That's it guys. Um Ladies and guys and everyone. Yeah, every man for himself. Whew. Having that knife holder point upwards, is that safe? Oh, oh well, we've done it guys. Every man for himself. Chris. Save no one. Job. Good job, Chris. All right, guys. So, what? I haven't got this trophy yet. All right, guys. So, well, there should only be one trophy left. Right. So, what we've got left, guys, is finish the game without saving. So, I'll do one more playthrough after this, which is just going straight through a game without saving using the infinite weapons. Yeah. So, that's it, guys. I'm not going to bother saving it. No point. Because I have just saved when I saved everyone to go back. Yeah. Sweet. That's it. Done, guys. Yeah, so I hope that helped, guys. I know I did, I think there's twice when I just went through a room I didn't have to or just did it in a bit of a wrong order. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Very easy. Chris, save everyone and save no one. And them few missable trophies that he has, the save Rebecca and the one, um, well, yeah, the Star Snow trophy we had to get a flamethrower yes that's it guys thanks for watching hope it helped and stay tuned for more to come and <laughs> catch you on the next video